face dampers, scaler again, and I've just been looking on the internet and I've just seen the most wonderful, big, huge tag made. Well, she didn't make it, she just showed it. Uh, massive tag, but also a little, little a bit of a mini album as well, but oh, absolutely gorgeous. So I went onto the website to look for the instructions and they were gonna be $15. And the car, uh, the kit of papers and everything she was using, absolutely exquisite, $39.99 for the kit and the tutorial but by the time I would have ordered them and I would have got here because they're coming from America it'd probably take about three weeks so I thought right just have a go yourself so I'm going to start I'm going to do it, everything in front of you I am choosing to use a little bit of uh, Highland Heather and these beautiful papers that the gorgeous Carla sent for me for my Christmas present so we're going to turn this into a giant tag We've, I've already got all my cut aparts um, and tags and the lovely words lavender and stuff like that. Oh, we're going to have a ball. Um, you know, it's just, oh, look at these gorgeous tags. Look at these absolutely stunning, make little booklets and everything. So it's absolutely to die for. And I, the only thing I could look at was the shape. Um, the lady's name on YouTube is K.W. Clement, so if you want to go and see hers, you can, but I've got chose. I've already got my tag cut to size. This, it measures just short of 10 now because the edge wasn't straight. So I want you to just um, straighten up, but it's seven inches wide. I don't know her sizes and nothing, but it looked about this size. So what I did, I measured in one and a half inches and down one and a half inches and then chopped off my tags. Found the centre, punched a hole and I've already covered the back side. So I'll just show you what I did basically now. I mean I could have cut two but I ended up having to trim a little bit with the scissors so and then just pop it on. Making sure it's level. And then I just traced around it, believe it or not. I tell you what I'm going to do this time. I've still got, if you notice, a little trim of paper along there. So let me try and get rid of that first. I mean, you could just glue this on and then cut round it, but this is how I did it. So right, that's perfect. Get it in the corner. I thought, what a lovely idea. It's a giant pocket letter when you think about it. It will be. she got a little book in hers and everything. Oh, so I'm going to try and work that all out from my own memory, which I think I can manage to do. But what an lovely idea and she, she's well she could have used it for all sorts of things so I'm gonna just trim around that with my trimmer I can let's do with this, this one I've got black cardstock as well uh, I might not use black actually I might just use white and lavender and the lavender because it's just amazing and that's what the colors are in the book so if I keep that line in the track let me just put me the glasses on just so until i've done this bit because i'm blind so i can take that piece off get that in the track make sure it's level I know it's pulling it out a little bit, but that's all I'm going by the, tr I'll just stick to the, let me just make sure, yeah, I've got that line in there. Let's trim that off. We can always trim it off a little bit more with the scissors. And as long as I keep that in the track line, keep hold of that and then 
this one. And then you can just put them together to see if, oh yes, more or less. Now I don't need these little bits, I'll get rid of those later. I did it with the, um, look, see how it raises your cardstock when you do it with a blade rather than doing it with a guillotine. Well, I've got to push them down because that would bug me otherwise. There we go. Right, let's just have a measure. I'd sooner take a little bit off the bottom, believe it or not. Love that perfect on the top. So again, I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to cut the hole out and then we're going to trim off the excess. So my bottle is starting to play up. Right, oh, right there again. You might have it the wrong way around, actually. The best thing to do is stand it up, innit? It seems to be the right way round for the top, so let's just get that bit of glue off. Glue the right side there. I mean, you don't have to do this. You could just literally put it round the edges if you wanted, but this is going to make your card, your chipboard, a little bit more stiffer as well. So, love it, love it, love it. And if there's any pencil marks, which you can just see, we can eliminate them in a moment. I love this scraper. It's marvellous. I mean, it's handmade, isn't it? It's not going to be totally perfection. So now I'm just going to take the scissors and trim off. In yet. Like I say, if you want to do it the easy way, just glue your paper down. See, there's a little bit on the edge there poking out. See, it's, it would have been easier to just glue it all down. nothing down that side and now I know where my hole is because I've cut the hole out first and then I cut it out again and then I cut it out again so I can keep it all perfectly lined up we're going to put a little toggle in there anyway so no one's going to see that where's it gone? Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> it's gone Oh, it didn't even come out, that's why I gain it. There it is. <laughs> so I'll leave that out. Put my other glasses back on there. And grab my tip. So I'm going to choose white because I haven't got any lavender ones. Or have I? Oh, now I've got a mixture down here. This slightly, slightly. Look, I've got blue, green, red, yellow, pink, orange, and black, but no purple. What a shame. So let's stick to the white. There we go, there's the white one. And the other one's gone in there. Oh, I don't need two washes, one's plenty. Oh, I hope my battery lasts. Right, now let's choose the nicest side. They're both going to be nice, but if you've got any like little blemishes, I can literally, we'll, we'll be covering this anyway, because we're going to have flaps on the back. We're going to have a big, ta oh, it's just going to look wonderful. So I'd say this is the back. So we're pushing this through. You decide which one you like the best on your one if you want to make one 
Now let's get this popped in here. Just secure that tag in. Perfect. There's no sharp edges. And we've got our little eyelet now as well. Oh my goodness. How amazing. She had a pocket on the front at an angle she could fit a notebook in but she had a big embellishment of a, another tag on the top with loads of flowers we will do that but not i'm not copying this lady's thingy to the letter i'm going to do my way but just do this giant tag with these gorgeous papers you know when you've got these paper pads and you're like oh some people don't want to even cut into them but um i've got to use them I've cut them in, I've cut the tags out, I haven't cut any of the other paper yet, but it's got to be used. So, your rule is going to be your best pal here in a minute. So it's going to be seven. So I want, this is where I need my little notepad now. So, pocket's going to be seven. I'm going to take it up to about there so about an inch down from there so eight that is eight and a quarter so if we take it to so we want seven plus I want half inch plus another half inch so that's eight inches by uh, eight and a quarter plus half and plus half for it to stick out so we can fit a little notebook in there maybe or loads of tags or a little a couple of bucklets depends but I'm going to give it a good thingy so it's eight nine and a quarter so let's get oh eight and a quarter oh perfect this is eight and a quarter I need to take this down to nine. Oh, <laughs> bash my hands. So I need to take it down to nine and a quarter. Am I ever going to have half inch wide? That's going to stick out a bit too far now. Let's have a look. Let me score this, just this piece, at half an inch. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, that's wide enough. Yeah, perfect. So, I'm going to get the other scoreboard up for that one. So we need to score at half an inch and one inch, half an inch and one inch, and then we're going to decide once how long we're going to cut out and how high we're going to keep it. Well let's do them first. got to be an open flap for me. So let's get our skizzars and we're literally going to take that whole corner off. Hold and burnish. keep your little address book in the front of this that'd be nice wouldn't it oh if it was wide enough so we want a little half inch gusset so yeah you're getting a pre-tutorial off me <laughs> I've 
got a piece of chipboard that is a half inch. I wonder if I could glue that on there. That would keep it from buckling. Yeah, let's do that. These are little half inch strips. I cut these before I switched the video on. So what we'll do is we will get everything together do all what we're going to do to it and then we'll come back and do a video with all the decoration and where we're going to put things and what we're going to make and oh I love it I'm going to still make sure though that I can bend that up and bend that over perfect just let that idea and then I can trim off the excess and I've got another little piece that will go along this side as well do the same because you don't want it collapsing so let's do that as well this bit's optional but if you want to make it nice and stiff As long as you don't go over that score line, it doesn't matter about this top score line. We can adjust. Get a bit of that in there. Just hold that together. with a good stiff pair of scissors. So, this piece. Perfect. This, I think is only, uh, I think it's only two mil, or is it one mil thick? I think it might only be one mil thick. I think it's two mil thick so it's all right it's good cardboard so because that now is going to get popped on there seems really long doesn't it and now we've got to decide where we're cutting down to so oh let's turn it over that way so that's the top i'm gonna come um, say about an inch and a half out. Let's get my little pencil. So let's do that this way. About an inch and a half. Take that to the core. Which is there. And then I'm going to come up about three. something in there, it's nice and solid. So, pop that in my, keep that part on there. Oh, look at that, perfect. Perfect. And then we're gonna add, that is gonna go right along our edge there. And that's going to get stuck on there. But first, we need some ribbon. Oh my goodness, I forgot the ribbon. Oh, I haven't. I've got it here. I've got little doilies. I've got flowers. I've got more darker flowers. I've got this beautiful little um, ribbon. Um, embellishment. I've got there it is. I want to see how long that is. Just 
saved all that rattling. Oh, that's better. So, got some, some of this beautiful ribbon here as well. This was sent to me by somebody and I can't remember who. I know I'm awful for names, terrible. When things come in the future, I'm gonna write the person's name on and make sure I give credit where credit is due. Oh, but we're gonna have doilies on there, we're gonna have all sorts. I'm gonna place this ribbon in here. So when we come to the back, I make sure that's level. Perfect. I can tie a bow then to keep the back of the folio style bit at the back closed. And yes, we've still got a beautiful size ribbon there. She says when she can get it through. to go on the back. Oh, perfect. So let's just add a little bit of double-sided tape. Let's see if that's the same width. It surely is. So I know it's a bit fiddly and party, but let's just push that down. Get our tape measure. So the whole thing is 10 inches, so a row of pencil. Five. Five, I know I can add that right along there and keep it straight. Now me, normally with things like this, I forget to get things straight. What a wonderful gift this would make to some for somebody. Oh. Make sure you get all the air out of it. Release your tape. And let's just untie. Just move that up. Perfect. So we can leave that dangling just whilst we're doing things. We know it's perfect size. So now when this goes on and we add some decorating paper in there, you won't see it. Oh, should we decorate in there now? Let me just tie that in a knot. bow even just because it's the tassels are dear me I did oh, I can't do that under tie I can get um, straightening irons on there and that'll straighten out the ribbons you know like hair straighteners so let's get a gorgeous piece of paper we know we don't have to come all the way down. Mind you, we'll see it on our side, won't we? Ooh. I don't care, let's get, let's get our first slice. Oh, we're doing all the decorating after. Oh, let's just put one on. Let's see what gorgeous papers are in here. So I don't want nothing with a huge pattern on because I don't want to cover it up. Just, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Carla, these are amazing, my darling. Oh, look at that. That word on there, lavender. Bang in the centre. Maybe do a little border, because there's borders in there as well. Look, we've got these beautiful borders. You can trim them out. Let's do a little border all the way around and then put a section in. We could even piece these pieces. You know, to make it look like a patchwork. But I'm thinking border, definite. There's even little strips in here. Gorgeous borders. Find one.
Oh, look at this. You've even got a perfect journaling note there. Absolutely stunning. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. Outstanding. Can you find that other piece that's got a border on? Is that it? I swore there was four of them. Three or four of them. Let's just get all the tags out, Gainer. And keep all the tags separate and then we can see what we've got. And what we have. Now it looks like there's only two of them. I've even kept all these small pit pieces because, whoops, I don't want nothing to go to waste. So let's take all the large bits out and we'll be adding them in here. I definitely want that piece. Whoops. Now I faff around too much, don't I? Sometimes, but if you want to do it perfectly, then do it perfectly. You will. So, just think: would there be enough? Yeah, I think there will be. Oh, I don't know. There's only two pieces, and you've got to come to the edge. That could go across there and say lavender. I'm going to glue them on right as they are. Obviously, I've got to come to the end because uh, right there and right there. Where's my distress inks? Are we going to sponge? Oh, I've only got Victorian uh, velvet. That's pink, so I don't want to be pink. It's the colour I had for my sister's album. Right, I'm going to just leave a tiny border fraction there. Glue that piece on and we can trim off the excess. Just for this first page, tiny border. Whoops, don't go sliding out of the way. That's it. You can still see the smallest of border. And then we can trim off from behind. Perfect. Can pop a little bit more glue just under that side. Why is that wider? Why is not? How mad is that? Yeah, when you do it that way, it doesn't join up. More's the pity. So do the same again on that side and trim those off, and then we'll find something nice to go across there. on 
an edge. So sweet, isn't that gorgeous? things don't we absolutely stunning <laughs> no 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 again it wouldn't line up so put them to one side How we're going to do this now across the top gain again. Let me just trim that off with the trimmer. I'd sooner use the guillotine, but. <laughs> Grippage. Oh, we're getting all this. Love it. So, literally, we're going to have to put a whole piece in there. Keeping that in the centre. How oh, going to get a small hole in there? So, let's. I can't turn it upside down. But I can, but. So, that is going. Right smack in the centre there. So hold that in place right along the edge. And mark from the inside. And then this time we just use the small end, not the large end. Positioned over that hole, and again, we can still get our ribbon through there. I know I've got to cover those little corners off, but it doesn't matter. There's a will, there's a way. That's what they say, don't they? And then just trim those off. A nice perfect angle. And it's, oh, it's so pretty. Keep those as well, they can go with our board to start. Oh, sorry, battery's gone. Give me two seconds. showing three bars when I switched on. <laughs> it's all plugged in and recharging so oh, we have dressed the top of that beautiful piece of chipboard. And flowers can go up there. I think it's now, I'm not going to use the lavender one now. I'm going to piece it in. Oh, look at that one. Oh, 
trust me, that lavender one will go in there somewhere, but... So, I am going to leave a fractional border as well. So that's the top. And I have to pull this down now. Find the end. So, did I mark them? Oh, there it is. There, there it is. the marks a little bit bigger Dina so you can see and then we're gonna come out that far oh I can't do it on my little one we just still have to cut it at an angle anyway I'm not using all this paper I literally want to come down just past the ribbon then and I'm gonna have a different piece in there. So that goes in there. Just past the ribbon. So I'll say about there. I am going blind, honestly. That's better. <laughs> Again, it's going blind. And I've lost it again. There it is. What's that? <laughs> so now we need to. We've got our marks there. We know that that piece is going in there. We've got our mark there. We know our piece is going in there. So let me get this trimmed down to give me a small border. Make sure that's straight, Gainer. Otherwise, you'll get it all wrong. So I'm going to take a little piece off there and I'm going to take a little piece, oh that's too much, off there. Let's put this away. And then we can just trim down. That small piece has come out, that can go inside there for scraps. Spin this around, take off that little section. Perfect. I know it's a long process, this is a little bit is, but it's got to be done. So that's going in there, that's going in there. And this, I'll have to pull that over because that's the borders of what. If I mark there, and then again there, that one's perfect, and that one needs to come down to there. Fingers crossed. Shape. <laughs> oh my 
bit of... Oh, it's purple on there as well. <laughs> Let me get my rubber. Take any marks off. Purple board is showing actually there. Perfect. I've tried. Well, never mind. We just piece up. I have some more borderings on. <laughs> so again, got to do the quick. Got to be quick. Small border. Perfect. That's so cute. Oh, excuse me. Where's my? I'll be two seconds. I'm just gonna blow my nose. <laughs> Always happens because my hands are busy. It does it when I'm washing the pots and stuff, or oh, washing my hands in the morning or something. Uh, right now, I have our little cube box is going on there, and we need another sheet of paper in there. So they're both exactly the same, aren't they? So no, I need a bigger piece. So I'm going to have this piece here. No one's going to see this edge anyway. So if I line up this corner and get this perfectly bang on. It's marvellous. And then there. This is the only one we're decorating because we're gonna do all the gubbins as I call them first. The reason decorating this is because there's my pencil mark. I don't, have I just chopped it off? No, oh, there it is. There. It's only because I want to put this panel on. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Either way around. Why is I'm, I'm losing the plot, I am sure. Oh my goodness. I have lost my markings again. There we go, that's right. I'm not bothered about that edge because uh, that's right. I'll glue that on now. Oh, but I like that side. And you can't decide. I like it like that. I like that. I thought it cut it way too long then. Even when I haven't got a cold, it happens same way for me. So, keep on with this little edge. Now we've hidden our ribbon as well. Now we can attach. That's the only reason we messed around with our DSP because we wouldn't want to do attach this. Which seems to be Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Nice big pocket. All 
right on the edge. Right on the edge. And then I'm just gonna go in with my bone folder. Make sure that is pressed in. front pocket done I'll have to, I'm gonna get in I'm gonna get that notebook we'll go in let's have a look my address book look at that oh it's a little bit if that had been a quarter an inch bigger I could get a smaller notebook in there though I could make a smaller notebook and have that to go in you could have this on and get on the door, couldn't you? Put a nice little hook on the back, hang it on a door or a, a picture hook even, and then I'll keep a shopping list in there, a little notebook, a dress book. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now we're going to leave that now and turn over, and we're going to attach our gorgeous panel. So I'm just going to. Tie that round the front loosely, keep it out of the way just while we add our gubbins on the front, uh, on the back. Uh, need to prop that up as well, just so I'm not pressing and collapsing those papers underneath. So now, let me get these out of the way. Would be high enough, perfectly high enough. So I'm going to score this at half and a quarter. So I've got some playroom, and then we decide where we're cutting off. So half inch is with to tear it down, and a quarter inch. So half and three quarter. And we need two pieces. Because we want one for the other side. Half and three quarter. And I've only used one, two, three, four pieces of the Highland Heather then. When I do a waterfall, I might just grab a couple more pieces. So do the small, the furthest one away from you, and then it's easier then to fold the second one. So there's one. this to prop it up because you want play space and you want to be able to have that extra room on there that's perfect actually where is that moved at the bottom oh my goodness it's slipped ah oh, look at that it's slipped down a little bit and yet it was perfectly on the edge Right, well we can disguise that. <laughs> so that's going to get glued on that level with this. So I want to come, I want to stay about, making sure that's right on the edge. So 
Now let's just say about three millimeter away from this end. Cut that off. Oh, see that are in the prototype. Just doing it straight off the bat. into place into space Us. You've just literally got about three mil space there because we're going to add this one open and this one is going on this side. So don't forget you've got a quarter inch gusset. So but I don't want to come too far there so let's move that up a touch. So it can close. So again, I'm going to come away three mil from this side. That's about four or five. And then when they close together, they've got. We're not going to interact with each other's uh, parts. Tell you what, just fold that first. So we keep that right along our edge there. And then we can open it out. And just check. That will, oh, oh, neither of them will interfere. Look at this, it's falling over. <laughs> oh, that's about half an inch, isn't it? There we go, that's better. So they're not going to get trapped on each other. Now we're going to decide what we're going to do. Are we gonna have, oh, we could have use one of these. <laughs> and have a flap on that coming down. Or we could have a side flap opening up even wider what's the width oh four and a quarter perfect by eight and a quarter ah we could so that is six and seven eighths I'll do a top flap and 
just do this. this at half an inch and we'll add a little top of that. Mind you, if that is four and a quarter, yeah, I'll have to do a half inch, won't I? Or we could just do three eighths of an inch. So I'll just take it down to three and seven eighths and they could just trim down a small photo there. And with it by and by and six, they can add, uh, trim that down. Just have a slightly smaller than 64 photo and a little journaling spot at the side. Perfect. So I'm opening this up. This is going to get attached on there and keep it away from that edge. And that's perfectly on that one. I know, I'm crazy. And I'm just using up the, the pieces that I came across with. I haven't gone and got extra. Make sure that's lined up right along that edge. I have got white scraps in my scraps bin. pull down flat and we could even oh what could we do on there this at half an inch either end Oh, do you know this page here? When I attach this in here, do the three sides down and the bottom, to, might put that on some. I'd love to be able to just leave that and put that in there to hold this page down, but it's way too big. Look. Oh that would hold that flat down as well. Look at that beautiful scene. Make a big enough tag for that one though, won't it? Oh yeah. So let's get these glued down. This will just take off the bulk. Keep 
and that, that along that edge, and right down the bottom. Just not interfering with that tagline. We can make a smaller tag to fit in there to keep that flat from going up and down all the time. It's a little bit of a gap there. So we could. I have got these when I can pick them up and find them. There they are. I've got these two beautiful. You could add photos on there or journal even. <gasps> Home is where the heart is. Oh, and then that would slot in there and go all the way down and keep that page from closing. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Absolutely stunning. I wish, oh, I should have to get my um, scan and cut out and have it cut these images out. Because that is just divine. <gasps> love them, love them. Love, love, love them. <laughs> so, that will keep that closed, and that can still go all the way to the edges, um, more or less down to the very bottom. I'm going to make a huge tag out of that. Oh, I wish I had two of these because I would put it on chipboard and have the front one way and the back on the other because I don't want to cover that up really because it's absolutely exceptional. So we'll piece paper in there and then I'm going to put a slit in the DSP with a nice fancy border. I wonder if I've got one wide enough. Remember the dies that I had. So that's a fancy fold pocket. I need a really long one. I think that this might be the long one. No, nope. it must be this one. Yes. Oh, look at that. That is gonna make a huge, beautiful, fancy pocket. And look at that. It'll just go in there without interrupting. And then that tag. Look at that. Will slide inside there perfectly through our DSP. Oh yes, that's what we're doing. So we're going to have that as a tag going through the paper of our designer series paper. Stunning. Now let's, what are we going to do on this one? How about I trim this down a little bit more because this is going to get hidden anyway. To six inches. Yeah, we could take that down to six inches. Don't bend it again. And then we could do a little waterfall. through its little hole. Oh my goodness. And then to do a little waterfall down there. Just trying to think. <laughs> oh. Put a pocket holding that together. Brain is ticking over time. Just trying to think. 
because mm. I don't want to add too much bulk. four inches so that's the depth on that so that's eight and a quarter so four so I think every half an inch one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine if I did them at three eighths of an inch, I'd get nine in there, and then the bottom piece would fall at the four. Fingers crossed. It'd have to be. Oh, that's a lot of cardstock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's have a look at the basket. And these are thick. I've got some thinner card actually. So. About right, but they're not four inches. They'd have to be four and a, four and three eighths. And we could even round the corners off that, couldn't we? Add some ribbon so we could tie it. Oh, oh I don't know. My brain is thinking all the time. What have we got there? It's not quite. That's, that's got to be four and three eighths. So that one would be perfect because that is four and three eighths bang on so let me have a look Let's score this at heart three eighths of an inch that's a big enough flap isn't it it's just to attach white one, a purple, white, purple, white, purple. You know, you're only going to get one though to each piece because they're going to be six so that's a lot. Of, uh, so we could do four purple, five white around the corner. Though. They're going to have DSP on them as well. That would make gorgeousness. And we've kept it away from this edge. So what is that? Five and seven eighths. Oh, so I would get two. Oh, wait there. Yeah, five and seven eighths. Five. Yeah, I would. I get two. Oh yes, let's do that. Let me go and grab some purple and slightly thinner white cardstock. And I'll be back in a flash. So, Highland Heather, number two. Let me just get these cut for you and then we'll attach those and then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish it off. Oh, I might have five of them actually because I've got that one there. So, five and seven eighths by four and three eighths. Oh, yeah save on the bulk because I would only get one if I faced it the other way so five and seven eighths luckily we'll have 
can only get one off that, see, because half of that is four and one eighth. And that's perfect. So take that down to four and three eighths. See what I mean? You're going to be slightly shorter on one. So this is one, two, three. Scrap spin. Four. Scrap spin. Let's do the purple one then. So half this hot card stuff is five and seven eighths. So that's perfect. So three of them and three of them. Six, they can go in my scraps bit. So three and three. So for dinner the six, seven, eight, and we have nine, don't we? So I'll do this one. white and we want one more purple so I've got a card base or two get my scrap spin so that's only six pieces of uh, Highland Heather to make this you could just use all white as well if you wanted to. All white. <laughs> and then four and three eighths. And that's the scrap spin. So we've got let's go these and round the corners now of all these. Round the corners as well over here. collecting that. <laughs> so let's burnish it fold. Okay. 
Aha! Uh -huh. I hate it when you can't pick things up and get a grip of something. Just short of six by four bottle mats. Five, seven, eight. if you've got different papers than me and even if you've got the same making sure that's light along the edge check still a purple dry first, open it, down it, open it and close them. I need something under this end. magnetic closure under the bottom. Do, 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 do. Because the white, purple, white, purple, we won't have to add photo mats underneath. We can just leave them plain just decorate the front. Uh, 
only watched Frozen too. <laughs> Me and Mr. Boyce, we love kids' films or horror films. It's got to be one or the other. Kids' films or horror films. Let's come back on the next and stuff. Doesn't that look pretty as well? Premiere started and I'm up there. Right, I'm now on the edge. And that's not on the edge clean enough, that is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. You ever think I've not turned up to two nights running because uh, I was spending time with Mr. B last night. So, you'll be watching the Cosmos. Uh, premieres. I spent time with Mr. B last night and now I've decided to come on to do a project. <laughs> Just gotta keep it right along this edge. I just that seems shorter than the others. A little bit, doesn't it? That, those two were out. Oh, never mind. So, we could even keep going a little bit more. Got all them the same size. You saw me do it. Oh, I don't know. I've got everything's perfectly lined up here. Oh, give me strength. Right, I'm going to love and leave you all. This is going to go over there. This is going to fold over there. And then this will be held together with a ribbon. Should stand up okay as well. So yeah, you ooh, that nice recipe. You could use to turn it into a recipe card as well. Um, a recipe book and have it stood up in your kitchen. Up like that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave those in there. Flop that over, kind of guss it so it's not protruding. Same on that side. I'm gonna go off. decorate it all apart from that piece I've already done it so I hope you like it up to now I love a thumbs up and a share that'd be amazing so come back let's decorate it tomorrow see y'all soon don't forget to subscribe press thumbs up and share and the little bell never forget the bell otherwise you won't get notifications so till next time bye